Hello and welcome to the video. So it's coming to my attention that a lot of people are having trouble modding in Cyberpunk 2077. So I'm going to show you exactly how to overcome this and very easily as well. So I'm going to show you two ways to install mods into Cyberpunk. The first one being using the Vortex Mod Manager, which is the easiest and simplest. And the second way is a manual installation. So first thing we're going to want to do is come to the first link in the description, which will be this link here and download Vortex now. And that'll give you this application. Now just go through and install it and do whatever it says until you get to like this sort of screen. And you might have to go to games, find your game here and click on like activate or manage. Yeah, I think it's manage. You click on manage on cyberpunk and then you make sure that it's activated and then you'll probably have this page and after that literally just click on vortex download on a mod and then click slow download but yeah, after that it'll be downloading it in here on vortex and you're literally done and then launch the game like this just just click that up the top left and it should launch your game and if you installed cyber engine tweaks you'll get your first time like a pop-up notification that will tell you to bind cyber engine tweaks just by pushing a key i use the title key and here it is right here so that's that's literally all it is that's how you install mods that simple so that was the easiest way to install mods to cyberpunk i'm going to show you the manual way now Okay, now for manual installation of mods, there's one application that you'll probably need. And that is simply just open a new browser tab and type WinRAR. And then click this download icon. Now, just click this and install. Now, this will be a trial. I'm aware of that. But this trial just never ends. <laughs> and you also do not need this. It just makes it... I just use this. Anyway, so after you've done that, you'll download your mod, find your mod you've downloaded, and then just open up your Subpunk game folder as well. And then literally just hold right click on the mod and drop it into your Subpunk game folder. Like so, extract here and go to your game launcher and simply just launch your game. Now, Cyberpunk recently disabled all mods for everyone and uh, it's also saying here. So you'll have to click this little settings icon and enable mods yourself and then launch and let it do its little thing. Now we wait for the game to open and we'll push our little title key and here we go. The mod is it is installed and all that stuff. So yes, mods are working. That's how you install them. Now, let me say when you're installing just about any mod, you'll be on this page, which is Nexus Mod. Com. Now, in the description, always read this thing. There's, there's normally a way to install a mod down here. So if I wanted this Wraith Hood, which is a clothing item, I would scroll down and obviously you'll always download the requirements. Always download these. They're necessary. And then you've got the rest of the description, which sometimes tells you how to install it. So always follow this. Sometimes they want you to do something differently. And then also if you're downloading clothing items, it gives you item codes down there. And that's pretty much all that there is to modding. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. But yeah, even with my, this mod video, s some people have still had some trouble modding. Now, if you're still stuck after this, I'll have a video linked below, which is a, um, a more in-depth tutorial, which will probably help you out a lot better. This one was more just a quick show and tell of me showing the easy way first and then showing the manual way. But I'm pretty sure this video here, linked below, will be by far much more in-depth. Most people should just stick to Vortex installing mods. For the most part, it should work every time. But there are a select few mods that just won't work with Vortex. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. Subscribe for more. And with that said, I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.